All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about DV presets. So DV presets are also very important because presets make our website super fast. Now, let me give you a quick example. So let's say you are designing your website and you have three different types of buttons or fonts or headers and footers. What happens is the browser starts loading up all this uh, code to show up your design. So if you have certain areas which has content that is all different, all that is extra code that is loaded up on the page. But now, if you create specific styles for, let's say, your headers, your footers, your buttons, and so on, across the website, as your uh, website is being loaded, it's only loading that instance of that design because any other copy of that design on your site is not extra code. So this allows your website to be super, super fast. The browser is not loading up extra text or extra CSS code. So now, what else is the benefit of presets? So as you're designing, it uh, saves you a lot of time. So let's say I design a specific button that I've spent so much time designing and I wanna use it on, a, on another page. What happens now is I would have to recreate that button every time I start designing. So presets allow us to save these uh, design styles and then we can just pull them up uh, as when, and when we need them. Let me show you how this works. So over here, I spent some time to creating this button here. And by the way, presets work pretty much across uh, all elements on our DV website. They work on um, sections, rows, uh, modules, and so on. So this button here, I spent some time creating it. Now notice what happens if I were to create another button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a new section here so we can have this on a separate background. Okay, so I wanna create a button. So I'm gonna search for my button module. And notice that it comes in as a default button here. So I would have now, I would have to now go in here into design, button, activate, use custom styles for button. Now notice how many clicks I'm going through here. Button text, I have to go in, change my text here, change the background color, change the border, change the font, and so on. And this needs to happen every single time I need to create a button. So with presets, let's say I've spent about five minutes creating this button and I'm happy with it. What I can then do is I can just go in here and I can say, you know what? I really want to make this a preset over here on the top. Click down, click on this uh, drop down where it says pre, uh, preset default. And then I can say create new preset from current styles. Boom, just like that. I've created a preset. I can give it a name. So I can say this is a solid button. Okay, so I've just given my preset a name. I can also assign this preset as a default. Now, what that means is every time I create a new button, this is the button that shows up. So I can just go in and just do minimal work because my button is already designed for me. So I can assign this to the default and then I can hit save. It's asking me here, are you sure? Because this will assign this button across the whole website. I can say yes. Now notice what happened here at the bottom. This button here on the bottom has been updated, saving me a lot of time. So if I had 100 pages on my site, this button here has updated all instances of my pages, which has a button, which is brilliant. So now when we get this gray item here, we can go in and make further customizations if we need to. But you know what? I'm not going to spend time on that. I'm just going to hit save, save one more time. Now, let's say I need to create a brand new button. I'm on a new page. I'm starting to work now on a new button. I can come over here, search for my button module. I can select it. Boom, that becomes the default button. So I don't need to go in and start creating all those other instances. But let's say there's other instances where you want to have a button that's a different style. Now, here's what you do. I can start designing this button here. So I can go into design or I can just click here on the three little dots and then come all the way down here to edit preset style. Boom. OK, so now I'm in this other view <laughs> that I can use to uh, edit my preset. So I can come over here to design button. And this time I want to have a solid border for my button background. I want to make it transparent or maybe even make it white. So now I have a different style of button here. So let's say I really love this style here. I can then come over here to the top, click on this drop down, and I can say create new preset from current styles. Boom. Like that, I can now give it a name. So I'm going to say uh, button style two. There we go. 
So you can name this whatever you want, but this time you don't want to make this a default because if you assign this to a preset default, it's going to override everything else that's on your page. So now I can save changes. Okay, so now we have two styles. This is our default one, and this is the one I've just created. So let's say I want to create a new button. I can come over here to and search for my button module. So it's going to load this up by, as a default one because that's what we chose. But if I click now on this drop down and let's say I want to design the button with this, I can now just go to my new button style and boom, just like that, I can go in and update all my buttons to the style that I want. So now I have two styles. I have this one solid one here and this outline. So at any time as I'm designing my size and I need to choose my button, I can just go in here, go to my preset and choose it. Same applies to any part of our website. So let's say I'm working with my sections here. I can just go into my sections and go into design uh, spacing. So let's say for all my sections, I want to have a padding of, let's say, 80 pixels to the top just to give this some breathing space and the bottom. I can actually save this as a preset uh, by coming over here to the top and I can say create new preset from current styles. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to say 80 pixels padding. There we go and save that. So now that I've saved that, let me just save one more time. When I create a new section and I come over here, click on this plus button, regular, right? Let's close that. So if I come over here to my section settings and then on the drop down, I can choose 80 pixels padding. Boom, just like that. And now I have my padding. I also have my background color that I have over here. Now you can also have presets with different colors. You can have dark background, light background, and so on. So all you have to do is to create a regular um, section. And for this one here, you add all your features that you want. So let's say uh, for this one here, you want to add a different background color. Uh, so let's go with that. Or let's go with a dark, dark one, okay? So on your presets here, you can just go in here and say create new preset from current styles and then call it dark section. So as you're designing, you don't have to go in and start adding the colors and so on. And all this also applies to your rows. So if I create a brand new row, uh, let's go into the row here. Let's say I want to make my row slightly different here on the sizing. I want to change my width here to, let's say, um, 80%. Okay, that's, let's say that's my new size. I want to equalize column heights and use custom gutter width. I'm going to set this to two. So let's say that's my style. If I save that, I can actually save this as a preset. So that really works great as I am designing my site. So you definitely want to use presets throughout your designs. Now remember, the presets can be used on sections, modules, and also rows. So any type of module, you spend your time designing it, save it as a preset. But what I highly recommend is you save it on a specific page and that page becomes your sort of like a style guide. So that's what I highly recommend. All right, guys, that's how you use presets in Divi. It helps you uh, make your website fast. It also helps you uh, design your websites even faster, saving you a lot of time.